Back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. We out here, NYC with it. Okay, we here in uh, EBN TV Studios. All right, we got another video for you today. And today's video is how to make her want you. Okay, now, some of y'all men don't know how to attract women. Some of y'all may know how to go after a girl or get a girl to, like, sleep with you one time, I guess. But... I'm gonna keep it a stack. Girls have been straight up like obsessed with me because of certain things that I do and how I move. Okay. Am I looking for them to be obsessed with me? Not really. Like, I'm not like, you know, I'd be chilling. I don't necessarily want people, like, I'm not, I don't see myself as like some holier than thou individual. I, you know, think of myself very highly, but am I looking to, for these women to be obsessed with me at certain points in their life? No, I'm not. But, I just know I be doing certain things and I move a certain way that allows that to happen. And I'm going to tell you why it's not happening to you for real and how to start making it happen to you. Let's get into some tips, okay? So, how to make her want you. Let's start a little bit with, for, with, with uh, why you're falling into the trap as every other man. And let's go with a genuinely, uh, generally attractive woman. Let's go with that. Generally attractive woman, right? How to make her want you. Why she may not want you off the rip, even if she, or, or maybe uh, she may want you, but she knows that you're wanting her first. So she doesn't have to expend as much energy. She doesn't have to do as much because of this reason, right? You're fiending. You're fiending. You're fiending, bro. Why are you fiending? Stop fiending. Stop. Stop fiending. You understand, like, the second you, you, you just keep hitting at a girl ego, yes, that, that, that's how you can get her to, to uh, be interested a little bit, because a lot of girls love compliments. But here's the thing. When you are giving in too much to what she's trying to do, then she already won. She already won the game. When, when you're starting to show her that Inside her thigh gap is worth so much to you. Now, she will move the same way. She already believes that. But now you doubled down and made her super believe. And that's probably what's going to make her think already that that's all you want. Because you're gassing her up to the fullest just because that's what you want. And that's what you think is going to work out. Now, I'm sure it works for some people. But in a general case, if you want this girl to fiend for you, you need to stop fiending. You need to stop feeding. You need to make the girl feel like a regular person. The second you start putting this girl on like some kind of high pedestal, you lost the game. You want, uh, you, she won. You, you lost the game. Because girls want what they can't have. We're going to dive into that a little bit deeper in a second. But right now, we're still at, you're fiending. Stop fiending. You commented on the, all her pictures. Hard eyes. You DMing her mad hard eyes. You replying to every story. You're fiending. You staring at her like she is the 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 best thing since bread came out. You staring at her like she the best thing since since the Pokemon holographic cause released. You heard like like you wildin', bro. You're wildin', bro. You're wildin', bro. You're wildin', bro. Stop fiending. I'm telling you, stop fiending. It's it's not worth it to fiend. It's really not. It's not worth it to fiend. Stop giving too much attention. So girls know what they're doing a lot of the time. I always say, a girl knows exactly what she's doing unless she ain't been through nothing. If she ain't been through nothing, she got no experience, then she is really just living and flowing with life. Now, once again, speaking from experience, I've been through different types of experiences with experienced girls and not experienced girls. The experienced girls, when they've been through something and they're not stupid and they know how to move accordingly, they know what they're doing and she posting a video of her throwing them butt cheeks the two pieces of watermelon you like oh i'm trying to squeeze that and make some watermelon juice you think you're the only one that want to squeeze that and make watermelon juice of course not my boy of course not there is several individuals that have reached out to try to squeeze her watermelon say she posted a thirst track 
where it's say say she posted a thirst trap a video she playing with it with, 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 with the milk makers with the she turn around she start throwing that thing right you like ooh wow bricked now you bricked up now you now you now you do the thing where you can message her straight from the damn comment section or or, or or say you say you send her your post like oh yo you looking man good what's up I'm trying to take you out or say you you mad vulgar because I've, I've seen women's DMs where a man will be like yo I'm trying to slurp you up right now like do you think that that works? Immediately tell and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the girl that that works on I don't even want that <laughs> I don't even want that girl bro if all I gotta do is send you your post and you throw in butt cheeks and tell you I'm trying to slurp that up and you immediately let me slurp it up. I don't even know if I want you. You might have an STD or something. Like, why are you giving it up? Like, at least, at least, like, make me ask how your day was or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, also on some women as well, I might make videos to uh, uh, to tell women as well. Like, give give game to women because sometimes women need to. You may need to do a little bit more to make a to make a guy get the cooch. Sometimes girls is willing. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Ah, off the ripple. I'm like, damn son, you ain't even make him like. Get your number, like, he, he, off the DMs, off the Instagram DMs, damn, open off the DMs, sheesh, but the you're feeding and the you're giving too much attention is pretty much similar tips, but it's different at the same time, but it's pretty much similar, though, stop feeding, bro, girls can sense when you don't feed for them, and they respect that more, when you, when you treat them like a regular person, they, they do respect that more, and when you put them on, like, this high pedestal, when they're not your girl, when they're your girl, that's her office, you know, you got to do certain things to keep your to keep your girl. I'm keeping stack. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about just the, the the art of the art of courting women. Right? So you're fiending. Stop fiending, bro. Even if you want her, stop fiending. Like show her that you want her without showing her you want her too much. You gotta be able to show her that you got options, even if you don't got no options. Even if this is the only girl you want, you have you can't make her feel like you want her OD. You can't. Like, you can't make her feel like she is the only option you have. Like me, when I go to a club, I don't see a bad girl and I immediately want to go up to her. I take my time. Like say I go into a say I go into a club, right? My first thing is I look around. I look around, I survey the field. Because say it is the first bad girl, say I pick her, but I missed out on the other ones because I'm talking to this one. But a lot of times people can tell who's in their surroundings, right? So say she may see you too. Say she sees you and she, she finds you attractive, but you went up to a different girl. A lot of girls don't like competition. They feel like they they, they the whole table. They the whole house. They the, the they they feel like they the luxury apartment, even if they really not. They feel like they the luxury apartment. So if they see you talking to another girl that they may deem to be a section eight, they gonna be like, oh, I don't want this guy no more. You for everybody. The second a girl feel like you for everybody, it's over, bruh. So you have to, you should be way more tactical. Guys on any girl that they feel like even looks slightly good. They don't, I, I can't even say the guys on every baddie they see. They be on girls they feel even look slightly good. I'm like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think what has contributed to me being able to court certain women is because even if I didn't have no options, I made it seem like I did. And when I didn't make it seem like I had options and they, and they were able to tell like I was really just in it for them, it ruined everything. And that's happened multiple times. Both things has happened multiple times. Where I've shown I've shown a girl way too much of me. A lot of times the down bad things that happen to me with, with girls is usually when I'm coming out of a relationship and I'm feeling down bad and I just put myself in, in weirdo situations. I don't know why I be doing these things. But like this was one girl I was coming off of a situation and I was going to a different situation where I was really just trying to be in a physical attachment with this girl. I was trying to be in a physical attachment with this girl for real for real. But I ended up expending too much and showing her too much of myself because I feel like everybody a little bit crazy for real. But I started to show my crazy way too early. You should, you gotta, you gotta, you know, let the crazy come out in, in, in parts. I, I realize, you know what I'm saying? Don't just put all your crazy on somebody because they're not gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's crazy, but you have to make them like you first before you just start showing them you're crazy. But I was showing her, your, I was showing her all my like little idiosyncrasies way too early. And she was starting to really realize. And even I, I was telling her for real. Like, I'm an honest person. I was telling her straight up. I'm like, yo, you're the only person I'm talking to right now. Like, with, with, like I'd rather talk to one person, but I, at least at the time. You know what I'm saying? Me, nowadays, if you're not, if you're not showing me that you want me, eh, I, may, I may be the one that, that extends first, but you have to also reciprocate energy. If you're not reciprocating that energy for real, for real, then I'm gone. And I'm not, I'm not staying around. But, you know, in this, in this instance, I was, once again, it was another instance where, like, I wasn't really looking for an emotional attachment with her, but I was kind of moving like I was. But I knew I really didn't. You know what I'm saying? 
So really also another another little bonus tip. Really go after girls when you're like mentally stable. You know what I'm saying? If you're mentally unstable, bro, it's not gonna work out. Like things is not gonna work out in your favor. Maybe it will, but it may it may crash and burn burn at some point. But moving away from the you're fiending and you're giving you too much attention, girls want what they can't have. So if they feel like they can't have you, that'll make them want you like 30 times more. I feel like a lot of men can relate can relate to this. You get into a relationship, right? Maybe during this the the this say like four or five month period, no girls wanted you, bruh. Girls was not throwing themselves at you. Girls was not putting themselves in your atmosphere. Girls was really not jacking you like that. But then you find a girl to jack you. Saying in a month, month and a month and a half, that's your girl now. Now y'all, twin, twin, y'all locked in. Foel, 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 twin. You know what I'm saying? Y'all locked in now, right? Now, girls, 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 girls. Where was you at? Now you being put to the test and about to battle with temptation. But when you were single, you wouldn't have had to battle with temptation because you're single, who cares? You're gonna do what you wanna do. But now you're in this relationship and now some men are very weak and they will fold to a baddie, even possibly say the baddie is, is more attractive than the actual girl, a lot of them will fold. Some of them fold without even girls putting themselves in their face, you know what I'm saying? They'll actually go, go reach out to some girls. I've seen it happen, facts. But girls want what they can't have. If they feel like they can't have you, it'll make, or they feel like you, you, you are not for everybody, that'll make them want you more. That'll make them want to be in your presence more. If they at least feel like you're making them feel like you're not giving yourself up to everybody so easily. Even if you are, guys, I'm essentially trying to just give you tips to win the game, okay? And then in the day, you can't show your whole hand. If that's you, you got to know what you want out of the situation. You can't show your whole hand. You know what I'm saying? Or else you will lose. You know, girls want what they can't have. A lot of times, girls tell me that I'm mysterious, and I'd be like, "What are you talking about?" You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, "I'm not even trying to be mysterious. I'm really not. Like, I'm not people. I feel like people like because look, I don't tell I don't tell nobody my age. Not girls, not guys. But then you know, some girls be like, "Oh, you trying to hard?" I'm like, "I'm not trying hard. Nothing. Like, I have." personal like things that I stand for and that's part of the things that I stand for right so I guess that can kind of can kind of contribute to me being mysterious I also don't open up very e easily because I don't trust nobody so it's like I don't open up very easily I guess people think I'm, I'm mysterious because I don't I don't I, I like withhold inf certain information so one girl told me that she didn't know too much about me and I was closed comfortably. She felt like I was closed comfortably. Now, I actually really like that uh, interpretation of me because I'm actually a very open person. I actually don't think I'm that, I'm that uh, closed off. I am introverted. I do believe I'm introverted, but I don't think that I'm that closed off for real. If you know me, you probably know that I talk a lot, honestly. But if I don't know you, I always think, what are you going to do with this information? Like, you're going to do nothing with this information except probably tell somebody else. So, if you, I, if you my, my, my uh, person I uh, respect and I know and appreciate, I have no problem telling you information. Because I'm going to assume you're not going to tell somebody. And if you do tell somebody and I find out, it's over for you. You know what I'm saying? But me telling information to random people, what is this going to do for you? You're going to just have the information. And then, and then what? Like, okay, like now you have it. I don't like that. I don't want you to have inf free information about me, right? So that allows girls to feel like, oh, I don't know a lot about this man. Like, oh my gosh, mysterious. I dated a girl the first month and I think a half. She didn't know how old I was. And she was talking to me every day on FaceTime, every day. She asked me what my age was and I didn't tell her. And I was still talking to her. She was still talking to me. I got into a whole, I got into a whole discourse with a, with a woman on this couch, actually, I got into a whole discourse with a woman where she was like, we was really going back and forth about why I wasn't telling my age. And at the end of the whole discourse, the only reason that we was even going back and forth at some point is because I wouldn't tell her and she wanted to know. Once I can feel that I'm only in a back and forth with somebody because they want to know my information and I don't want to tell them, then that's how I win. Because I'll keep going back and forth with you until you feel like stopping. And I'll, I'll make good points. I'm a, I'm a debater. I took public speaking classes and I, I 
one of my favorite movies that I don't really watch as often as I should is The Great Debaters. I actually love that movie. It's a great, it's a great movie, right? I love debating. So we can get into a whole debate. I don't care. So, you know, being, I guess, this mysterious person where people where girls want to feel like they have to chick, uh, chip in my armor to be able to learn more about me has contributed to some positive results in my life when it comes to women, okay? So, please, I've been dropping gems on gems on gems. Take the gems. Because I be seeing clips where guys are just straight up like, yeah, I can't pull girls. I don't know how to talk to women. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I'm like, damn, son. I feel like I got to say I've been blessed my whole life to have been able to pull girls and been able to talk to women. I see women as people. I see everybody as people. Once again, women suck, men suck, everybody sucks. That's my message. <laughs> I'm here to unify and unite and let you know everybody sucks. Stop putting women on this type of big pe platform pedestal. Everybody sucks. And that's what it is. Make sure you go ahead and like this video so other people can get these gems, get these Mario stars, and they can also expand in their life. You feel me? Make sure you hit the subscribe button. So you can catch more of these videos. We come in consistent with these. All right. I love editing videos. I do. You can check out me editing videos on all my other channels. If you type in EBN TV or you type in Taylor L Jazz, you're going to see me going crazy on the edits. I've edited every video myself that I've ever put out. Okay. So I understand if you may want to see edits, but here, when I'm talking to you, I want you to understand I don't need no edits. This is real life. You know what I'm saying? This is real life. Everything I'm tell telling you, it's happened to me, happened to somebody else. People told me, like, I have experiences and I'm trying to help you out. You feel me? I don't need no edits. The real can be raw and uncut. Remember that. Okay. Win the game before the game beats you. Taylor out.